What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is what the last 24 hours of Death Row Prisoner looks like. It's gonna be interesting. I, I find these things interesting even though like it's weird. To yeah, it. I feel like we haven't watched one in a long time but we used to watch like the, um, where they go into the prisons and then talk to the people on Death Row yeah. and stuff like that quite a we bit, didn't we? We used to watch we? like loads. It, it's weird because it's a life which we hope none of you legends will ever have to like have. Because I hope if, you make the right choices. Yeah, hopefully you guys will never Obviously have to do that. You deserve it. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to get is like, don't do anything to be there, and we hope yeah. you never end up there. Um, but because of that, you kind of just want to have that insight, I guess. Yeah, I just, I just find it interesting. I just want to know. No, definitely. It like, is... I don't know why I want to know, but I don't know. I just want to know. Definitely smash that button if you enjoy this kind of content, guys. Smash that subscribe button as well. You absolute legends. Let us know. I know we do the meal, don't we? Let us know in the, the comments. The meal, don't is. I wonder if there's like a thing though, like some stuff you can't. Ask I think for. you just pick for anything. Maybe that's just in the movies. Maybe. Let Maybe. us know what you would have if you could pick anything in the world for your last meal. Let us know in the comments below. What would you have? Because you can have anything, can't you? Like dessert and everything. I'd have a Big Mac with fries, nuggets, and then I'd have for my dessert my Nan's apple pie. Anna McFlurry. Oh, yeah, but you, got, you got, can't guarantee your Nan's going to make it. Oh, she will. There you go. Smash that button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. Let us know in the comments below. And let's check out what the last 24 hours of Death Row Prisoner looks like. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. There are 2,738 inmates on Death Row in the United States. This number can that change many. quite frequently, oh, no. given that some prisoners, of course, might be executed, but others might have their sentence commuted. They might have their sentence overturned, or someone else might join them on death row. Right now, only 2% of people on death row are women. 42% of people are classified as white, 41% black, 13% Latino, 1.9% Asian, 1% oh, Native oh. American. I just said, what about men? There's only 2% women. Yeah, so everyone else is men. Wow, 98% men. That is, I, I didn't expect to be that high. I did. What, 98? Do you know the only reason 2, I did? The only reason I did is because on all the doc documentaries I've watched, and I've watched quite a lot yeah. on Death Row ones, and proper like where they actually are real, like yeah, films. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I've never seen a woman on it. But out of 2,700 people. They've gone worked out. How many women then? 2%. So what's yeah, 2% of that money? 54. 54. Why are you saying it like I should know that? Yeah, because I was, I was just... 54 a, women. If you let me fear, I was about to say, a 54 mm. women. <laughs> yeah. It's only 50, out of 2,700, 2, 54 women. Yep. If my math checks out, it may not. <laughs> Honestly, you guys are worse than us. Yeah, that's mental though, isn't it? That is it? mental. That is mental. I expected it to be more like a, maybe like a 70, 30, but no. Let us know if that shocked you, because that yeah. shocked me. Obviously not me. I would never do that, but men are worse, apparently. There you go. Statistically. Statistically. And, and the rest is stated as unknown. You can be on death row for a long, long time. And believe it or not, the average time spent there from sentencing to the years, day in wow. the execution chamber wow. is 20 years. Let's now see what happens on that final day, 8 p.m. The inmate is taken from death row to another cell. This involves a drive from the prison to what one former official in a documentary called the Death House. That official said prior to leaving death row and getting in the van to come to the Death House, the inmate will be searched really well. He said this wasn't only because a weapon might harm a guard, but mainly because they don't want the prisoner committing suicide. Another it's guard interviewed way, said he it. once took a route to the death house where they couldn't be ambushed. Tensions are high during these events. He also said the atmosphere in the van was solemn. We all knew where we were going and why. Nobody said a whole lot. Once the prisoner goes into the death house, he won't ever see the light of day again, unless wow. some kind of appeal works for him. 9 p.m. After booking in, he can sleep until he's awakened, if indeed he can sleep. We managed to find the diary of one prisoner who described his move to his new cell. They stripped me out with a female officer present, he wrote. Now, personally, I'm not the shy type, but having a female officer on death watch is just one more humiliation. We're told that during this time, the prisoner is on something called death watch. He's watched all the time in case he tries to take his own life. The cell is close to the execution chamber and it is very private, a space where the inmate can reflect on life as the hours count down. This might happen just one day before, but we found cases where it was a couple of days. Prisoners will also be given special clothes in most cases, much smarter than prison attire. 
The man who kept the diary wrote he was happy to have at last a pair of trousers with a button and zip. We don't know how well he slept, but in his diary he comments about watching the guards sleep. This is what he wrote, good for them, I'm sure this has to be stressful for them. So a moment's relaxation is well earned. I also enjoy the irony, who exactly is watching whom? One other thing he says is that the death house is much cleaner than his death row cell. He remarks that there's not a bug in sight, whereas in his last cell it was like going on safari. 4.30 AM The inmate is woken up bright and early in his cell. We should add here times might change from place to place, petitions might still be pending, and there's a phone right outside the cell. In the okay. cell there's a shower, a toilet, a bed, and a desk. During this last day the prisoner is allowed to see family and can be visited by a chaplain. As for calling people, the inmate can write down a list of phone numbers he intends to call and give that to the guards. One guard interviewed said we would dial the number for him and then allow him to make his call. But after the prisoner has called the last person on his list, the only person he'll have to talk to is the chaplain. We're told that after this last call, it can be a very traumatic time. One chaplain interviewed said I was to do everything and anything to help him face that last day. Whatever it was, writing letters, making phone calls, singing songs, listening, listening, and listening. 8 AM We said they can have visitors, but 8 AM is the cutoff time. After that, the prisoner is on his own besides having prison staff oh, around and of course anyone involved in his case should something change. The chaplain can- It's a weird one isn't it, because like, you spent all your life in a prison and yes, the death house, quote unquote, death house is a prison, but they're getting given normal clothes, they're making phone calls yeah. where they're probably not normally making, yeah. like in a row, they're seeing other people come in and it's kind of like a little glimpse to- what a could have had. bit more yeah. reality before, which is a little bit more brutal as well, because it's kind of like... Well, this is what you're missing. Yeah, exactly, on the day. I, I, I know we probably don't mean it like that. They're just trying to make it as easy I as like possible for the last day. I like watching them to make sure they don't kill themselves, to make sure they die at the hands of... Yeah. Like, the death. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, because what does it... I know I know it does matter. Like, I mean, like, if he kills himself on his own or he dies, he's going to die anyway. Yeah, but it's all the pain. But it's... it's, but it's they want him to suffer, which, I mean, they should if, I don't think I, I think it's more of a fact of if you did it in his cell that one it unfortunately make a massive mess. Two, you'd be in a lot more pain because I again I don't know obviously they don't use the electric chair anymore, mm. but I think it's meant to be a non painful way. Just an injection sometimes. Isn't yeah, it? so it sounds wrong saying that you get rid of a mess, but you do, and then it's not as painful for them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's the reason not not because I want them to mm. mentally suffer, but it must be hard. You in a cell for twenty years, knowing it's a possibility, but thinking that'll never happen. And I then, feel like though. And then you know it's happening. Yeah, but I feel like it must be hard. Yeah, but if you're able to do the stuff to you do to get yourself on, I mean, like if you're on death row, you got to be doing some. Oh, definitely. Messed up stuff. Oh, I'm not and defending really, them. Like, by the way, are you in the mental capacity to know? Do you know what I mean? It, it, I you suppose... can mentally do that stuff. Then are you in the capacity to then be like, oh, maybe I was wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I suppose it's a long time, isn't it? So potentially their views may have mm. changed. But at the end of the day, if they've done something to be ordered to death row, you think it's going to be something messed up, don't you? Do you know what I think about when I, think when I see this? is That little boy, I think he was like 14. It was ages ago, like the 70s, I think, 70s. And he was the first child to be executed on the electric chair. Okay. And um, they obviously, like, there's, there's a picture of him that goes round and he's like in tears and all that. And it was proven, I think, 70 years later that he was actually innocent. There you go. And that must be f terrifying. No, you're dying oh, yeah, no definitely. Reason. But I suppose by that point you've accepted it, haven't you? Yeah, but... If you, but it, it, it's, it's hard. Definitely hard. I would mm. hopefully never be there. I'm not going to do anything there. So you hopefully can't because you're not... We don't have that in England. Yeah, I know, but you never know. You may get caught in America for something you never did. You know what mm. I mean? Hopefully you never end up there. <laughs> and still visit too. At around this time, in the actual death chamber, it's very likely that the equipment will be tested. This might mean checking that the straps on the gurney work, or even checking the phone to the governor's office is working. Yep, imagine it wasn't and there was a last minute reprieve. If the form of execution is the chair, then its electrical components have to be tested. In one case we found, the actual governor was the person who they strapped in to test if he could get out or move out of the straps. I didn't wow. want my staff to get kicked in the face, he remarked. 10.30 a.m. Is it still the chair, by the way? Is it, is it still the chair? I think it depends on the state. Oh, okay, because I, I, I think the chair's painful, isn't it? Yes. I, I honestly don't know much about it. I haven't researched too yes, much. Yes, which is why that photo of that boy everyone's saying because he was in literal yeah yeah, yeah. It is oh, painful. Oh. but the injection is not it's painful a, it's a, yeah it's a p 
peaceful away to go. Yeah, I think so. It's lunchtime. Yes, this is an early lunch, but let's not forget the inmate has been up a long time already. Lunch is not special, it's not the last meal. From what we can see, it's the same old prison food. The only difference is that the prisoner gets to eat it in a private setting. The inmate we talked about before said what he got for lunch was orange juice and what he called a prison issue donut. For quite a few hours now, the prisoner has a lot of time to think and, as you know, they have a desk and can write any number of letters, goodbyes, or just reflect on life. 3 p.m. If the inmate is to get the electric chair, he'll have his head shaved around this time, but this might also happen later in the day. He might still talk to a spiritual advisor, but food might also be on his mind right now. Around this time, maybe an hour or so later, the inmate will also be asked to dress in one of those smart clothes he's been given. He'll be asked to take a shower before he does this, a shower at least in total privacy. He'll have already written down what he wants to eat, so in the kitchen the death house chef will be doing all the preparations. 4 p.m. The inmate will receive his last meal. Contrary to popular belief, inmates can't just order what they want. It makes sense, because it's highly unlikely that authorities would splash out on the finest Wagyu beef. Yeah, In Florida, sense. for instance, the maximum this last meal can cost is 40 bucks. But this will change bad. from state to state. Those poor convicts over in Oklahoma only get a limit of $15, or at least when one documentary we watched was made. That is hardly enough to go crazy on your last meal. It's still mm. good. Five McDonald's. I was about to say, you can still afford your Mackey's. So, <laughs> as one Death House chef pointed out, this meal is the only choice of food they might have had in two decades. In some states, though, prisoners no longer get a bespoke last meal and only get the usual prison food. To give you an idea of what inmates might choose, we will list some last meals. Serial killer John Wayne Gacy had 12 fried shrimp, an entire bucket of KFC, some french fries, and a whole load of strawberries. Wow. The man behind the Oklahoma bombing, Timothy McVeigh, just opted for two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. A killer from Florida called Angel Nieves Diaz chose absolutely nothing. The terrible Ted Bundy did pretty much the opposite, ordering a steak cooked medium rare, eggs on the side, over easy, some hash browns, slices of toast, and some milk and juice. The infamous female serial killer Eileen Warnos was good with just a cup of coffee, while wow. a murderer called Stephen Woods must have been famished. We should add that many thought he was innocent and his last words were, you're not about to witness an execution, you're about to witness a murder. Before that, he asked to eat, according to the website Ranker, two pounds of bacon, a large four-meat pizza, four fried chicken breasts, two drinks each of Mountain Dew, Pepsi, root beer, and sweet tea, two pints of ice cream, five chicken fried steaks, two hamburgers with bacon, fries, and a dozen garlic breadsticks with marinara on the side. That state must have had a big budget. Five. He's the reason there's a big limit, like a lower yeah. limit now. He is the reason. The, <laughs> the witnesses will likely arrive at the prison. This might be family of the victims, journalists, family of the condemned, friends of the condemned, or whoever the condemned has asked to be witnesses. They will be told to try and stay quiet when they reach the witness room. Before that, they'll wait somewhere else. In most states, civilians who didn't know anyone involved will be asked to witness the execution. 6 to 8 p.m. The time of execution can vary from state to state, but it's just about always in the early evening. At this point, the prisoner will be taken to the execution room. The witnesses will soon be in the witness room. Prisoners, for the most part, will just walk right there and not give the guards any problems. In some states, this will be a five-man team, just in case there is a struggle. But that doesn't happen often. One warden interviewed who had done 89 executions said he'd only had one prisoner that was hard to deal with. The walk to the chamber in most places is only about 10 feet, just over 3 meters. The guys would usually oh, walk right anything, up to the electric chair. They weren't forced by the staff. By that point, they've already accepted what will happen. A former Death Watch guard told Business Insider. Another guard in a separate interview said the same. Inmates usually act very dignified. It's a very clean procedure, there's no hustling and bustling. It's not always this way, especially if the prisoner is protesting his innocence. In 2018, the BBC reported that one man in Florida was screaming and thrashing before he was executed, screaming to everyone that they were murdering an innocent man. One warden said the first thing that catches his eye is that gurney, which is the place he's going to die. If it is lethal injection, which it often is, the prisoner is told to sit on the gurney and then lay down. 
there will be a tie-down team each responsible for a part of the prisoner's body. Doctors will usually not be at the execution because it's not in line with their code of ethics, so there will be a special team to administer the drugs. This is not always easy as the veins tend to hide during this stressful time. Some of them had burnt veins from drugs which would make the process longer and more painful, said one former warden. When the catheters are in place, the inmate will be secured again. There's about 15 minutes before the execution. Believe it or not, oh, some inmates have got a stay, time. which means a call to stop the execution during these last minutes. If that doesn't happen, the witnesses are brought into the main room and the curtains are undrawn. Some inmates might make a final statement. It depends on the state, but some prisoners might be given a few minutes, and others just allowed to make a brief statement. Kentucky gives two minutes, but in Pennsylvania you can't talk at all, and the statement can only be written. Here are some fairly recent examples of last words. I'm ready to roll, time to get this party started. My last words will be, Hoka hey, it's a good day to die. Somebody needs to kill my trial attorney. I think that governor's phone is broke, he hasn't called yet. These are, of course, unusual ones, and most people- I guess, I guess, I mean- It's like a joke out of it? Yeah, I guess that 15 minutes must be whole, so, so mm -hmm. long. And then it's about to happen, you could either go out miserable or just, I guess, a joke. Mm -hmm. And if you're potentially sick-minded from what yeah. you've done, that kind of yeah, adds up, done it, but that 15 minutes while the needles are in you, oh, no. Nah. People will just oh, say their goodbyes long. to loved ones or give an apology for what they did. At this point, the chaplain might lay a hand on the prisoner, sometimes where there's a pulse. The warden will give the signal to the executioner, and then it's time. The end of the day, the end of a life. All we're going to ask you is, what do you think about this? Do you think this is what criminals deserve? Tell us in the comments. All um, well, let's not get into that de debate. I'm sure it's a massive political I one, to be honest with you. I don't want to deal with so that. we won't get into that. But let us know if you didn't have a limit, what would be your final meal? Smash that like button if you enjoyed it, guys. Smash the subscribe button. Weird one, wasn't it? Yeah, interesting though. Interesting, definitely. Again, it's one of them we, we like watching stuff like this anyway, don't we? So it's good to bring it to the channel. Hope you guys um, found that interesting as well. Smash that like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button and watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.